Yeah. Well, we were very happy to have the opportunity to develop these competency guidelines and curriculum guidelines for veterinary paraprofessionals, thanks to the uh, support from uh, our donor, DITRA. And the reason this is of value is that uh, through our PVS program, where we provide support to our member states to look at their capacity of their veterinary services, we discovered through those activities that there were some weaknesses or gaps in the training of both veterinarians and veterinary paraprofessionals. And the veterinarians and the veterinary paraprofessionals are both critical uh, human resources for the effective delivery of uh, veterinary services. So uh, earlier on in 2012 and 2013, uh, we formed an ad hoc group and uh, developed competency and curricular guidelines for veterinarians for the training of veterinarians. And this was very well received, and uh, OIE then decided to do this again with the support of the donor to develop curriculum uh, guidelines and competency guidelines for veterinary paraprofessionals as well. And the purpose is to ensure that veterinary paraprofessionals are trained to a sufficient level to have the competencies they need to deliver the services that are identified for them by their government. Okay. And in doing this work, we identified mainly three tracks, three different tracks of veterinary paraprofessionals. Uh, we have people working in animal health who are mainly involved in disease control activities in the field. We have veterinary public health, which are veterinary paraprofessionals who might be involved in food safety and meat inspection and zoonotic disease control. And then we have veterinary paraprofessionals uh, who work in the laboratory and laboratory diagnosis. So we developed the competency document to identify the skills needed for people working in all three of these areas. And then we developed the curriculum document to identify the courses and curriculum at training institutions that are necessary to deliver the competencies that are identified for the people who will be working in the field. And these documents have a considerable benefit to member countries because they can be used in different ways. The uh, regulatory bodies, the veterinary statutory bodies, who are responsible for licensing and registering veterinary paraprofessionals, they can use these documents to identify the criteria necessary for confirming the qualifications to license the veterinary paraprofessionals to assure that they've reached a certain level of competency to do the jobs that they're licensed to do. Uh, the employers, like the veterinary service and private sector employers, can use the documents to help define and, and write job descriptions that will reflect what is actually needed and the skills needed for those jobs so that the people who are employed have the capacity to, to do those jobs. Then the uh, training institutions themselves can use these documents to help improve their curricular, curricular activities and coursework to ensure that they are training veterinary paraprofessionals to a standard sufficient to fulfill the roles and activities that they're needed to perform.